Alrighty, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best settings to play NCAA Football 14 on the PC with the RPC S3 emulator. Now, before we get started with this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, if you want to see videos like this in the near future, so yeah. So basically, in today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys what are the correct settings to use to get the best performance as possible, and also show you a couple settings how to get 60 FPS and Get, play the game in 4k if your PC is able to handle it. So First things first. I need to show you guys my graphics card. Let's see what we working here. Uh, I know I have an i5 and a GTX a graphics card T GTX 1050 so anything above this or you have a better PC than mine you might get most likely will get better performance than me. So first things first we we'll go to the CPU tab now at first when I when I first booted up this game like a couple months ago, the default settings I used to use was um, SPU LLVM and PPU LLVM. But you guys can use the the set the the third one, and you just can leave one as it, as it is, or you can use the LLVM. Now you guys can try these settings yourself to mess around to see which one works for your build of your PC build. Like I said before. Everybody else, like, er, like everybody's PC build is different from each other. So you gotta test around with these settings to see which one works with your PC build, basically. And the SPU block size, it can either be safe or mega. I've seen certain people use mega, uh, but my preference would be safe. So you can either go mega or safe. That's the way to go. And it can you enable these three. Um. Lower SPU should be off. All right, now GPU. Some I see some people use OpenGL. I do not know why some people use OpenGL. That's not the way to go. You should be using Vulkan. Frame limit off. You should be off. But if your PC can handle it, it should be 60 FPS to get the best performance possible. Now resolution scale. Um, usually when it's 300%, that's considerably, it should be 4k. That's considerably 4k. So if it's 300%, that's basically 4k. You're playing the game in 4k. And after that, you go to audio. If you're having trouble with the audio, you could try to use convert to 16 bit to see if there's any improvements. Or if you guys like playing with audio, you can if you don't like playing with audio, you can basically turn it off. It really doesn't matter. Sometimes turning off the audio for certain emulation makes the experience a little better. It does not you know, dramatically increase it like crazy, but it just it makes the experience a little bit much more better if you don't like playing with audio. I see some people use convert to to 16 bit. It works sometimes. Like I said, it depends on your PC build, but usually you can turn it on and off, mess around with it a little bit. And then I believe in the advanced tab, load load um sprx only which is right here that's usually good but it should be on by default and yeah that's basically about it um these are the settings that you should use to get the best performance as possible and get the maximum performance as possible when you're playing ncaa 14 on the pc now another thing i like to do which helps a little bit it may not make a huge difference. You go to NVIDIA control panel for NVIDIA users. I don't know about AMD users or anybody else that has a different graphics card. Will this method work for you? But usually the thing I like to do is go here, adjust image um, settings, use advanced 3D image settings, go to the third line, enable your graphics card. This helps you get better experience when you're playing um, games on a PC. Make sure you enable your processor and then what you see here you guys can basically copy it pause the video if you guys need to because i may go a little bit fast to some of you guys and this is this is basically what you should put to get the best performance as possible when you're playing games on a pc in general or emulation then after that you go to the program settings you go to add We're gonna add RPC S3, add this like program, basically apply it. 
And yeah, that's basically about it. That's what you guys have to do to get the best best experience possible when you're playing NCAA 14 on the PC with the RPC S3 emulator. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new. And I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.